What's good, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Mikey Raider, coming off an actual run. Well, when I walk briskly, that becomes a run for this fat guy. But I got to thinking, and I'm amped up, and I'm fired up, and I'm here to make a quick little video explaining the stupidity and the bad business, hopefully in a quick manner, of Dave Ziegler and Josh McDaniels regarding this Josh Jacobs situation. Many people are up in arms with their feels on how they feel about Josh Jacobs, whether he should sign, where he, whether he's being, you know, disrespected, or this or that. A lot of people drink the Kool-Aid that the press and the media is given about the Jacobs situation. A lot of us don't. Uh, a lot of people say he's getting $10 million. He shouldn't feel disrespected. Blah, 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 so on and so forth. I'm just going to break it down as best as possible with my limited word knowledge and explain and show, if you choose to see it, the truth of how stupid Josh McDaniels is and Dave Ziegler combined. They are making horrific decisions all around. Again, regardless of Carr's bad play, or this person's this, or that, they are making horrible, emotional, ridiculous, non-thought-out, bad executive decisions. We can talk about how they benched Carr, got nothing for him. We can talk about the little they got for Darren Waller, the money they used when they got rid of the dra Gruden's draft pick in Underwood or whoever else was a part of the team. Again, I don't know the time frames, but let's just talk quickly about the Josh Jacobs situation. Okay? Into last year, when Josh McDaniels first took over the team, he shared his hand or his brain or his knowledge when he played Josh Jacobs in the Hall of Fame game. He didn't trust in Jacobs. He didn't have belief in Jacobs. And he wanted to see if that guy would ball out and do what he's worth. But why is that game important? Here is the reason why. Last year as well, they had the option to pick up Josh Jacobs' fifth year option, which they did not do. Then they played him in the Hall of Fame game. By them not picking up the option, it showed that we don't really know what we got in Josh Jacobs. We don't know what value he brings to this team. And long term, we don't really want him to be a part of the team. Or we don't want to pay him a lot of money to be a part of the team. That's the honest situation that you can get from them not picking up the fifth-year option and playing him in the Hall of Fame game when he played no other starters that entire preseason. I'm looking to forward what he does with Jimmy G this preseason. But that being said, that gave us a glimpse into how Josh McDaniels and the Patriot way, let's call it, views running backs. Not very well. So... We all know what happened last season with Josh Jacobs becoming, you know, the basically the most valuable player for the Raiders, becoming the leading rusher in the NFL, the number one running back. And he's now on the top 100 list at like 19 above Devontae Adams. And we all know the contract situation that they placed the tag on him because they hold two of them now. With all the Darren Waller decisions, the Derek Carr decisions, getting less value for him, and the money money strategy with Chandler Jones and this and that, again, it's bad business. Now, let's look at why Josh McDaniels proved he's stupid and doing bad business for his philosophy, whatever that is. All he had to do was have faith in Josh Jacobs when he came to the team last year. Knowing Josh Jacobs would have his fourth year, then they should have extended, given him the fifth year option. 
because that would have gave Josh Jacobs two years with the Raiders to prove himself. Then they would have still had the tag in the sixth year. They would have also had the second tag if they wanted to do that in the seventh year. But the tag comes with a decent amount of money. What does the franchise, the fifth-year option give the Raiders if they would have given that to Josh Jacobs? Well, looking back, if they would have given the fifth-year option to Josh Jacobs, he would have been the number one running back in the NFL. He would have hoped for a contract this offseason as well, but they still would have had the fifth-year option because they took it. And then Josh Jacobs, he might have held out as well, let's be honest, on the fifth-year option. But if they gave him and had any faith in him and gave him the fifth-year option, that option is only worth $8.5 million. They would have saved almost close to $2 million or a million and a half or whatever the math lays out. So we wouldn't be crying about Josh Jacobs signing the tag. We would have had him on the fifth-year option. Yes, he could hold out, but we would have still held his contract, his fifth-year option, and two more tags. And he would have got less money if the Raiders are trying to save money. So, if they gave him the fifth-year option, he would technically be a member of this team this year for $8.5 million. Then, if he played this year and did as good as he did last year or even close to it, then we can add the tag next year and deal with all that issues as well. Then we can add the tag again in the seventh year. We could have extended Josh Jacobs for three more years if Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler had any coherency and any thought into the value that Jacobs brought to this team by doing one simple move that would have procured a decent enough future in signing and giving Josh Jacobs the fifth year option. They would have added an additional years. They would have saved some money. And if he didn't play good, they don't have to give him the tag. If he held out, you could trade him and get value for him. It was a win-win scenario, and they didn't foresee it. We all foresaw it. We all knew that Josh Jacobs was going to have a hell of a year in his fourth year. We all knew he was going to have a hell of a year after they declined his fifth-year option. That's why I picked him up in almost every fantasy league I was available to do. So you guys say, I don't know football. That's fine. But I know the future, and I know better business negotiations clearly than Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler. And that is proof that they don't know what the, they're doing. That being said, just a little tidbit to add to this. They're now speaking stupid in the media. Apparently, there was rumors that they offered Josh Jacobs a contract in the final days of negotiating a long-term contract, which has been proven to be false by Josh Jacobs, but a lot of Raider fans drank the Kool-Aid on that one, and said, man, you know, they offered him a contract. You should have taken it. It was $12 million. It was $14 million. Blah, 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 blah. None of that happened. Mike Florio spoke about it on Pro Football Talk. Josh Jacobs' agent is speaking. There were no offers to him. Why did the media put that out? Well, they did it as press to make the Raiders look like they gave him an offer in the final minutes just to save face. They never intended on giving him an offer. They always intended on being forced to use the tag. But let's be honest, they intended on cutting him after this year. But he played so damn good, or after last year, but he played so damn good that they just can't get rid of him. It seems like they set up Carr and other people at times for failure so they can get rid of them and save face. That might have been the situation with Josh Jacobs. They were trying to save face. And then they have to keep him and tag him because he played so damn good and was the best part of the team last year besides Devontae Adams. 
and Max Crosby. That's honesty. I hope you guys see what I'm seeing. And that's the truth. But the media reported that they gave him contract offers, which is all lies and bullshit. Then on top of that, Dave Ziegler just did an interview on Raiders.com. And then he said that the Saquon deal has now opened up talks with Josh Jacobs to hopefully get a, a deal kind of like the Saquon Barkley deal. It opened up talks to do that. And we saw that in all the media reports. These Raider stooges. There are no contract talks. Nothing is happening. They're all lies from our organization and our coaching staff and our general manager. So they're trying to convince Josh Jacobs, I mean, Mark Davis, to possibly get rid of Josh Jacobs as Josh Jacob is becoming a problem. Just like Derek Carr became a problem in the supposed locker room. And Derek Carr did this. And Derek Carr pouted. So Mark Davis will just say, ah, we, how do, you don't want to sign the tag. You don't want to play. He's causing a disturbance. We're officially in a rebuild. Just get rid of him. Let him go. Rescind the tag. We'll do whatever you're going to do. And in that press conference or interview with Dave or Ziegler on Raiders.com, like I said, he said they're open to talks. Bullshit. Then the last statement he said was, we just hope that Josh Jacobs comes, signs the tag, plays for the team, and does as good as he did last year or even close to it, build up his stat line, and then next year we can look into, at the end of the season, we can look into a long-term contract. He literally said that, knowing they have a second tag, then on top of that, they didn't want him for the fifth year option. Then on top of that, they didn't him a contract this year. And they're telling Josh Jacobs publicly, just play, build your stat line where you can possibly become a bigger free agent and also get us more value in a trade or whatever we might do if we rescind the tag or whatever. I don't know how that works. But he's like, yeah, just come play for the team. Do good. And then next year, next year, we'll have the opportunity to work on a long-term contract. Because we had the opportunity this year, but the deadline came up. He literally said that. We blamed the NFL deadline. It came up so quickly. Blah, 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 blah. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. There's some truth to the reality. And again, this is gameplay on the field aside. This is the business aspect. Because a lot of you Raider fans, when I was dealing with the car situation and my emotions, were telling me, it's just business. It's just business. It's good business. I think I just proved by showing one example, and I kind of showed a bunch of others, but one example of some ridiculous bad business from Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler. I'm Mikey Rader. Hit that like, that subscribe button. Consider becoming a member. Supporting your boy. Football is back, baby. More videos to come. More fun. I don't have a lot of hopes. Sorry, guys. Sorry.